Hey guys, what's up and hope all of you are doing really great. This is Rafe from Retex Studio and today we are going to talk about and review the Asus ROG Ryzen 2 liquid cooler. Well, you will be thinking that the Asus has recently launched their Ryzen 3 liquid cooler into the market and we are reviewing the older version. Well, this is what we think. Still, there are a lot of people who are interested in buying the Ryzen 2 liquid cooler. So we got you covered guys. Do watch this video till the end to see the the thermal performance and the results of this liquid cooler also a huge shout out to the asus rock for sending us this amazing liquid cooler guys now without wasting any of the time now let's start the show before moving further guys again 90% uh, of our viewers uh, who are watching our videos haven't subscribed to our youtube channel so guys please quickly go down and press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can receive the updates of our upcoming videos now let's quickly unbox uh, the Ryzen 2 liquid cooler guys and see what contents they have provided you into the box. Well, starting from the design language of the Ryzen 2 liquid cooler which is totally eye-catching design with its 3.5 full color display it will steal your attention in an instant also guys you can play a lot with this liquid cooler you can display your choice of gifs stats graphs and other pc information you can do a lot of a customization by easily installing the software armory crate which you can download from the side of the asus rock beneath this display guys you will see there is a really small fan which can ramps up to 4800 rpms guys well this fan is for the cooling of the vrms and also at the max level it only produces the noise level of uh, 31 decibels talking about the fans asus rock has provided you 3 argb fans into the box which has a speed of 2200 rpms and uh, produces a noise level of 36.45 decibels with a uh, airflow of uh, 70.07 cfm which i think is really great uh, plus guys the rgb effects of the fans are really stunning uh, also you can see there is a asus rock metal logo at the mid of the fan which which uh, gives a really dope look or a next level look to the whole fan. Coming towards the radiator, the radiator is available into different sizes but the one we are reviewing at the moment is 360mm. Also the radiator is connected with the pump and the display with the help of two hose pipes. The radiator build quality is good, uh, quite similar to the all other Acetec AIOs. Moreover, the radiator has standard fin density uh, for the heat dissipation and the overall build quality is quite decent. Also, Asus Rock has provided you 38cm sleeves on the tubes which helps you into the uh, routing and also the arrangement of the pump guys. Uh, you can do it really conveniently. Now talking about the CPU pump which is the 7th gen Acetec unit which can ramps up to 2800 RPMs. Also the whole LCD unit can be easily lift off from the pump guys for the easy installation of the uh, pump and the CPU block on the motherboard. Also we love the design and the statics of the pump cover guys. It's so minimalistic. Like always Asus Rock has done a great job in maintaining the aesthetics of the products like always. 
Talking about the cold plate, it is a pretty normal cold plate like other Acetec AIOs. It is made up of copper with a really good finishing and no marks on the plate. Also, it comes with a pre-installed thermal compound which is quite really good to be honest. Now let's quickly set up and also check the Admiri Crate software. Well guys, if you want to get access to all of the customization and modding for this AIU, then you have to download the Armory Creator from Asus website. Well, after downloading the Armory Creator, you have to open it and the first thing that you will see is this tab. This is basically the dashboard of the Armory Creator. You can see over here that there, these are the frequencies at which different cores are running. It is also showing the temperature, usage, fan speed and voltages of various cores. However, there are some of the quick options where you can easily select the aura sync or change the LED light as well as you can also select the fan speed that you want according to your intensive task that you're going to do you can also set some of the scenarios and these are some of the other options next we have the devices as of Ryzen 2 is already configured to Armory Create so you can see over here that these are some of the options that will be available to you as well this is basically the place where you can change the GIF as well as the banner of your AIO LCD screen. You can also change it to hardware monitor where it will show different CPU temperature as well as GPU temperature. Or you can also set an image or an animation. Or you can also set a custom banner. This is pretty cool right? Next we have the fan control. This is the place where you can set your fan speed as well as the speed of your pump according to your own taste. You can also set a custom curve over here. Or you can also auto tune these fan speeds. Lastly, we have the Aura Sync option. This is a place where all the devices will be synced with each other and their LED lighting will also be synced. And these are some of the Aura effects. Rest of the things are quite easy. You can also go through all of these items on your own. And this was pretty much it about Armory Create. Now talking about the price and the warranty of this AIO, this AIO has a high price tag of 289 US dollars but the ASUS ROG is also giving you a warranty of 6 years on this AIO which is a lot. Well overall we are impressed by this AIO, you should only buy it when you have a budget. Do me a favor, save your money and go with a really premium or a next level GPU. Well this was ASUS ROG Ryzen 2 Liquid Cooler. Thank you so much for watching our video. Uh, if you have anything you can mention into the comments, we will definitely answer you there. And I will see you into the next one now. Thank you.